Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, weekend edition. It's the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Thanks to all the good radio stations and cable systems carry the show throughout the country. I'm Michael Horn, along with Paul Stern. Mike, we got a treat right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, Frank Pellegrino Sr. here with us today from Rayo's Restaurant. Frank Pellegrino, we love you, buddy. Welcome to the broadcast. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Good morning. Hey, good day to you. Our airwaves are always Rayo's airwaves, and... Uh, you know, every time I talk to you, I just and every time I go to the restaurant, it's like being home. It's like you walk into that new Los Angeles location, you're greeted with the smiling faces, and people sit down. A sommelier comes over, talks to you. The waiter comes by, can do magic tricks and things. You're there. Or some general manager is there coming over and talk to you. Let me tell you this. I'm going to give you one detail. I went up to the jukebox in Rayo's because it plays the music, and we'll talk about that a little bit later here in the broadcast. And I'm sitting there for about two minutes trying to figure out how to drop my quarters in there until I finally realized <laughs> you're not charging to play the jukebox. No, it's for free. And, and there's all great music on that jukebox. And, you know, that's become a part of Rayo's. The jukebox is, uh, which you don't see anymore very often. But you that's don't. become a real integral part of, of Rayo's is the music. You know, Frank, we always like to go and just touch on the history here because you have the oldest uh, continually owned and operated restaurant in the United States by one family. Give us the story. I know it started like around 1880 or something in that year. 1896. 1896. Right, is now 118 years old, still in the same family. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's not a bad record. 118 years old. And was it your uncle that came over from Italy? Yeah, it was a great uncle. That, that came over and, and they did it. And he they could speak English. He was raised here in America, and he could speak English. And uh, and so, uh, boy, the rest is history. You opened the first one in Harlem. What was that like? That, that was incredible. That was opened in. The, I wasn't around. That, I but, know that, Frank. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't mean time, to. I didn't mean it. Yeah. Still horses and wagons. Uh, you know, cobblestone streets, and uh, you know, it's just been fascinating the history of the place and and the longevity and, and the popularity, thank the good Lord. Uh, but it's been a wonderful run, really, with all interesting, you know, people that have come there throughout the years. And, and all of my, my aunt, my uncle, these were all charismatic people that uh, uh, helped Rayos to continue. And my uncle refused to leave the neighborhood. He was born and raised right next door to the restaurant. And he was there for 87 years. I love it. And, and never left the place. He and I was thinking about place. you because when that explosion went off, that was not too far from you there, in, no, uh, right? It was about six blocks away from us. So fortunately, there was no, you know, we, we didn't have any problem with it. But uh, no, it was a sad affair. That was a sad affair is right. But I was thinking of you at the same time. And when we talked to Frank Sr., I don't mean that he knows everything right. about the restaurant because he's been there. This man no. is a vibrant young man. And his son also runs the restaurant. And so... You guys expanded it when this, since you've taken over. You've gone to Vegas. People should know when they go to Vegas, they can go to Caesar's Palace and see the whole front of the restaurant and everything that's New York is right inside that restaurant. Right. Well, that was the intention. We, we recreated it, and uh, so we made it a, a real, you know, facsimile. It looks just like all the restaurants look alike. They all have the Christmas decorations and so on and so forth. So, you know, it's a great, warm feeling. It's got a great vibe. They all have a great vibe. And my people in, in L.A., Patrick is, is our manager, Nicole Grimes is our head chef. They came with us from Las Vegas to L.A., and uh, they're doing a great job, a really great oh, job. Oh, they're doing a fabulous job. I'm telling you, I can't wait to get there every chance I get. In fact, I'm getting ready to take some more people there to experience Rayo's. And you have located and you've opened now for a few months. You're open in Los Angeles. Right. And this is uh, an easy place to get to. It's in West Hollywood. No, it's you're... Hollywood. Is it uh, Hollywood? Mike, yeah. Okay, so Hollywood, and it's on Seward Street, am I right? Right, right, right. And it's just and... below Santa Monica, is it? Yep. And this is so easy to get to. You drop down from Hollywood, and you were there. It's at the old canteen, if you, if the, you yes, long time. it was the old Hollywood canteen, and we, we gutted it and built a whole new place in there. Boy, you and... did. And this weekend, by the way, starting Sunday, yes. we're introducing Sunday gravy, the traditional Sunday meal that Italians had for the last century, okay? And it's the, the gravy with the brajol and the sauce.
sausage and the meatballs and the pork and the beef and macaroni and a salad. So we're doing a traditional Sunday gravy now on Sundays, starting this Sunday. Now, I, you know me. I'm I, I love your restaurants. I love Italians. I love you know. I think we're brothers here. The Czechs, the Italians are joined at the hip. And so, when you say Sunday gravy, yes. that's the Italian term. What does that mean? Well, what what that means is is that it's it's a gravy made with meat. Okay. In other words, we we brown all the meat, and then we add the tomato, and we let it cook for three or four hours until all the meat is tender and ready to ready to just fall apart and, oh. it's, and it's absolutely delicious and this is what the italians like in my neighborhood where the original restaurant is in new york every every person every family made this on sunday this was the traditional sunday meal was sunday gravy with the meat the pork the beef the brajol the sausage the meatballs and then you had your macaroni and you had a, a big salad, and that was it. That was that was the meal on Sunday. And everybody, everybody in the neighborhood, if you were in the neighborhood on a Sunday, that's what you w- would smell. You would smell the gravy oh. cooking, the meatballs frying, and everybody trying to, you know, take a little piece of bread and dip it in the sauce. And it was just wonderful, and it's tradition. It's our culture. And uh, so I decided we're going to do that in, in L.A., and we're going to do it every Sunday in L.A. And I, I think I think there's going to be a lot of people who maybe come from, you know, the New York City or come from the oh, old yeah. times or remember the old times. And I think they're really going to enjoy that. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing, Frank Pellegrino. We're talking Frank Pellegrino Sr. from uh, right. Rayo's Restaurant. And we're talking about the Italian uh, Sunday dinner. Here's the thing. Back in the neighborhood, Italian, whatever it might be, the Sunday dinner was kind of like you took all the leftovers, and that's what moms did. And they cooked all day, and they put it all together, and it was like this was what they did. Now this has become like a delicacy to go ahead and have something like this. Oh, Am I right? Exactly. Well, first of all, it wasn't leftovers. Sunday, was everything was, was fresh. Oh, so it was on, fresh. On okay. All well, right. Well, what happened was they made so much of it that on Wednesday, I'll say, they reheated everything gotcha. and had it again. I got gotcha. you. See, at Mike's house, Frank, they did the leftovers on Sunday. Yeah, we did a little oh, backwards. We're okay. checks. What can I tell you? We we oh. learned from you Italians. We were always a couple of days behind. Hang on okay. here, Frank Pellegrino. Frank Pellegrino Sr. is with us. The great Rayo's restaurant uh, across this country in Harlem and in Las Vegas and now in Los Angeles and in L.A. We're going to find a little bit more about this Italian Sunday dinner. Stay with us on the What's Cooking program, weekend edition on CRN. Don't talk back. Welcome back here to the What's Cooking program, weekend edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio, coast to coast. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. And of course, we're talking with the one and only Frank Pellegrino Sr. of Rayo's. You know, Frank, I, I want to get back to this Sunday dinner, but just one little uh, the snippet here, if I can. I love to throw in stories about Rayo's and the tradition uh, back in the uh, in the early uh, 19, 1800s, or the late 1800s, and uh, 1896, the restaurant opened up, and uh, Charlie Rayo, then his sons, Louis and Vincent, and then uh, Prohibition was there. we got to ask you stories about that someday. I'm sure there's some good things there. Right. But uh, Vincent was married to, uh, to oh, Anna. Yeah, Anna. Right, and exactly. Someone told me that Woody Allen, who did Broadway Danny Rose, based the look that Mia Farrow had in that on Anna Rayo's uh, appearance. A- absolutely. And really? That, what happened was, you know, Woody Allen was my customer, and uh, this is, you know, back when he's still my customer today, but back when he was married to Mia, they would come to the restaurant, and one day Mia said to Woody, I would love to do a character that looks like Anne. And Rayo. This is great. And because my Aunt Anna was meticulous. She had blonde hair, was always coiffed perfectly. She wore tinted glasses because she was light sensitive. And But she was an elegant, elegant woman. And she would go in the kitchen, my aunt, with a little apron on, with white wool slacks, silk blouses, and come out of the kitchen the other night spotless. So she was amazing. At any rate, Mia wanted to do a character that looked like her. Yeah. Some way. And so. Along came Broadway Danny Rose. He he wrote that film, and Mia played a character that looked exactly like my Aunt Anna. And so that's how that came about. And that was also the beginning of my acting career, was because I, I was in that movie. I love and it. so, uh, you know, 
part? What part did you play in that movie? Oh, what? I played a little part. If you blinked your eyes, you know, you didn't see me. And I think the only reason Woody put it, put me in there was because Mia was playing my aunt. Uh, so, you know. Frank, you went was, on. You were in The Sopranos. The you were in so many great things. Yes, and and yes, we should mention yes. Frank Pellegrino, our gentleman right here, senior, was has been in so many things. A great, accomplished actor. I'm glad he's finally got the restaurant in Hollywood so we can just don't have to travel so far to eat for the wrap parties, <laughs> for God's sakes. That, that's why I did it, Mike, so you had a place to eat. <laughs> it's good. Okay, so so you, you always, the, the restaurant in New York, this is another thing, it's only open Monday through Friday. He closed it right. Saturday and Sunday for his the guys that take the time. In Los Angeles, are you closed on, is it Monday, Tuesday? No, well, now. We're now just Monday. Seven. We're going to be open seven days oh, a week. Oh, yes. Now, now you're, you're talking. Starting this week so that, you know, everybody who can't get there, because sometimes it's a little, it's a bit difficult to travel in L.A. with this traffic situation you have there. You found that out, and, didn't you, and, Frank? And so That's good. I, I found that out. Yeah. So we'll be open seven days a week, and we're going to start this week, and, and we're starting this Sunday with the Sunday Gravy. Californication of, of Frank Pellegrino. He's now realized that we got to have seven days a week. That's why we scratch our heads when you only open five. This is great news. And so this Italian Sunday dinner, it's got, what, you said uh, pork and what? what's all in the, the gravy? Yeah, the, there's pork and beef. There's meatballs. There's brujols, which are, are brilliant. You know, they're rolled up beef, rolled up pork, and they've got breadcrumb and, and parsley and, and, and cheese. And, this is it. Uh, just great. Rolled up in there, and then they cook for three to four hours in the sauce and the gravy, and they become tender and delicious. And a, just spe- it's a spectacular meal. Is this the only Rayos you're doing this Sunday dinner? Yes. All is. right. So this is this is New York. This is not in New York, not in Las Vegas. This is an L.A. tradition. Hey, Paul, we're bringing Larry Minetti in here. Let him get the Italians, round them up, and we're going to take them all down, and we're going to go to Absolutely. Rayos on Sunday. This is the time. Now, are you in L.A. now, Frank? No, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm in Las Vegas, but I'm leaving in an hour to fly to uh, L.A. So I'll, I'll be in the restaurant this afternoon working with Nicole, my chef, and uh, getting everything ready for Sunday. And are you going to be in for the week next week, a little few days? No, I'm going to be here. I'm going to leave Monday. I, I'll go back to New York on Monday. All right. But I'll be there tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. And i got to say, Frank, what a compliment to Rayos and everything that you guys do because, you know, when I don't know, for those of you across the country, I mean, when you talk about uh, great uh, cities and great Italian restaurants, L.A. is no stranger to great Italian food. And uh, for Rayos to come in here and in such a short time expand to seven days a week, yep. that's incredible. Yep. Yeah, no, it's doing great. The, the restaurant's wonderful. It's just a lot of fun, a lot of good people. Um, a lot of good food. You know, if you don't have a good time there, then, then I don't get it. And Frank you're, you're, will personally throw you out, ladies and, and gentlemen. No, I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, Paul. Yes. And you're doing the singing and everything where everybody Let's can get, get involved the, and all that good yeah, stuff? Well, well, fortunately for me, there's one of our waiters, Mark. This guy can sing. He's a talented guy. Oh, come he on. Does magic tricks. So, he so, is. so whenever I'm there... Mark and I start singing, and, and we it. just have a wonderful time. And that it's gets great. us back to the jukebox, because you put yes. in My Girl, or you put in yes. Sinatra singing My Way, and yep. Frank and the gang, it's not just Frank and it's not just Mark, you're going to be singing. The whole restaurant erupts yeah, into it. the whole place going, and, and it's fun. It is just like a family gathering. I tell you, there's nothing like it. It just it overcomes you. I've taken people that have never been in their life. They say, I love this place. I'm coming again. I, and that steak pizza, pizziola, let me tell you right oh. now. That melts in your mouth. Yep. Good you know, stuff. let me ask you a question. I was at a restaurant uh, called The Smokehouse, and on their menu for years, they've had something called Steak Sinatra, and it says, you know, pieces of beef, and, and I'm thinking to myself, that's your steak pizziola, isn't it? Well, that probably is. I uh, think you've got the traditional one. You've got the original right yeah. there that Sinatra would have gone nuts for. Oh, he, he would have loved it. <laughs> All right, Frank. loved it. What's the website at Rayo's? we got to get everybody there. Oh, wow. Rayos.com, R-A-O-S.com. Rayos.com is the website. There's cookbooks on there. He's got the pasta sauce that everybody raves about. But the main thing is get to the the restaurant. It is the best sauce. Everybody says that. And, uh, you know, this is the first Sunday. Frank will be there this weekend. Yes, I will. And it's the Italian. I'm going to miss this Sunday, but I'm coming next Sunday because we're at... No, maybe maybe I can get there this Sunday, as a matter of fact. I might... Paul, we're coming back. We're going to make a trip down there this Sunday because Frank is there for the first uh, Italian Sunday dinner. I can't wait. Frank Pellegrino, we love you. You're welcome on this show. Thanks for being with us.